हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू कोड ग्रिड लास्ट वीक अ मेम्बर फ्रॉम द प्रो कम्युनिटी शेयर द स्कूल वेबसाइट आस्किंग इफ आई कुड रिबिल दिस कॉन्सेप्ट आई सॉ दिस वेबसाइट वॉज फीचर्ड ऑन गॉडली इनिशियली इट रियली लुक्ड स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड बट डाइविंग डीपर रिबिल्ड अ कपल चैलेंजेस डिस्पाइट दिस I managed to replicate it to a certain degree. The main hurdle was related to the assets, but with scroll trigger you can code such animations with ease. Now, recreating such projects are usually time consuming, but I have always believed in the worth of making simplified versions available to my community. So, if you enjoy my work and find it helpful in any way, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already now let's get into it how you can build this first let's talk about the assets i discovered this dashboard mockup in the figma community assets I then added a grey background ensuring there was extra space at the top. This setup allows us to animate the image along the y axis when you first scroll. Additionally, I needed to edit the bottom part of the image to make it transparent. We will add the icons on top of it and leave some empty space in the exact center. This way when we scale the image the content underneath becomes visible ideally we should use a clip mask or something for this effect but i couldn't make that approach work so i had to find this patch now let's move on to the html so this part is going to be straight forward we'll begin with setting up a container first off we need a logo which we will represent with an image Just so you know I sourced this placeholder logo from freepick.com Following that we are going to create a wrapper to hold all the dashboard related elements This wrapper will contain the mockup which of course will be an image Next we are adding a dock within this dock we will place some icons opting for the phosphor icon family i will leave link in the description we will insert five icon elements with the central one serving as a window to the content beneath this will be a temporary icon image that we will remove as the user scrolls assign it an id of window then we will introduce a wrapper for the content we'll leave some white space at the top to ensure there is a gap until the user scrolls to a certain point the content will become visible only after reaching this height let's include a few h1 tags for the copy and that's about it let's move on to the styling part Let's start with the basics by resetting all the margins and paddings to zero. For the body, I'll use my go-to font, New Montreal. This time, we will add a gradient to the background for a bit of flair. We want our images to fill their parent divs completely, so set their width and height to 100% and use object fit cover to maintain a consistent aspect ratio. Next, Let's adjust the font size for the icons to ensure they are visually appealing and visible. The logo will be fixed in position, slightly lowered from the top and centered horizontally. We'll also give it a higher Z index to keep it on top of other elements. The container should match the body's width and height, both set to 100%. The dashboard will also be fixed staying in place on scroll. We'll give it 100% width and height slightly greater than the viewport which will give us more room 
to add initial scroll. For our dock, it needs to sit precisely over the dashboard's crop empty area. So we will position it absolutely, give it a 25% width and adjust its bottom positioning to align it correctly. Its height should cover the entire blank space and we will use flexbox to organize the icons inside. Temporarily, let's set the dashboard's position to absolute to add scrolling just so we can see how the dock looks. Each icon within the dock will have an equal width thanks to flex set to 1. Using flexbox again, we will center each icon both horizontally and vertically, apply a background color and a solid thick border of the same shade. Adjusting the dock's position may be necessary to ensure it aligns perfectly with the intended blank area. We will round the borders of the first and last icons to match the dashboard mockups aesthetic. The center window icon will have no background and a thinner border. Now we will introduce a substantial amount of white space at the top of the content area equivalent to 175 viewport height to delay content appearance during scroll. Finally, I'll apply some generic styles and tweaks to the text and enhance the appearance of the H1s. And that's all for CSS. Now let's move on to the JavaScript part. Let's kick things off by setting up an event listener for when the document is fully loaded. First up, we are going to bring the scroll trigger plugin into play by registering it with GSAP. Now let's get into the details. Our first task is to animate the logo as we scroll. We are moving it up to a 50% offset from its original spot and scaling it down to 35% all without any easing. The animation starts as you start scrolling from the top and ends when the user has scrolled about 100% viewport height. This scrub value allows the animation to smoothly follow along with the scroll action making it feel more natural and connected to the user's interaction. Next, we focus on the dashboard, nudging it upward by 25%. Again, starting right from the top and extends until, until over 200 viewport height scroll. As we proceed further, on the dashboard image, we will add a slight blur when the image is going to be scaled. From a scroll depth of 600 to 1000, For our window, we need to remove the temporary image we added on top of it. So between 400 and 450 viewport heights, the image will fade to transparency. Then comes the key task, scaling in the dashboard. First, we need to set its transform origin towards the window, just so any transform applies towards that area of the image. 
we don't need the image to scale from center we need to scale it towards the bottom area exactly where the window is located you might need to play around with this value to be honest to find a sweet spot where it looks the best once we are totally in we'll grab the dashboard again and remove it from the dom by setting opacity to zero and display to none and there we have it hope you find this video helpful see you in the next video